This is going to be a different style video from me today. As you can see, I'm at home. This is my cat Lola. She will be walking through most of the time. I've brought all of my clothes that I wear for hiking downstairs and I'm going to be trying them on and showing you what is in my hiking wardrobe and how I actually afford to buy branded gear. So I'll talk you through that as I'm showing you what I've bought because I do have brands like Berghaus or North Faith. I will never pay full price for things like that. And an example of that is this fleece that I've got on today. So I will show you that in a minute. But I get asked a lot about where I get my stuff from. So let me start off by saying 90% of what you're about to see is from ASOS. Because you can save everything in your basket, I'm constantly watching to see if prices come down. So you're gonna see screenshots, if I can find them, of everything that I've got. See an item that you like, just pause the video. Most likely ASOS, you'll see in the screenshots if it's not. I head to the website and see if it's still in stock. I have been building up this wardrobe for about six or so years so this is not an overnight process of gear that I've accumulated here. I'm gonna try everything on so you can see how it fits. I'll tell you the sizes that I got because I typically wear everything oversized. A theme that you will also notice through this video is that everything I have is typically men. Personally, as I say, I like an oversized fit. I would say a good 80% of this stuff is men's stuff. That's where the good shit is hiding. So let's get into this and let's start with what I've got on right now. So I I actually bought this fleece this week and I got another one with it. I'd had my eye on it for a while. Let me show you the other fleece and then I'll talk about the price. So this is the other fleece. I don't know if you can see here, but it's got a mountain print on the buttons. Slightly different design than the last one with the pocket. The other one's a zip. These fleeces, when they came on about six, seven months ago to ASOS, were on for £80. I would never pay that price for a fleece. I've just been waiting for them to come down. They basically sold out when they came down, so they were both reduced to £24. I missed that price. So I set my notifications for, I got a size medium in both of them. This week, at the same time, very luckily, they both came back into stock. I nabbed them straight away. I'm not gonna put this next item on because I've worn it in my other videos so many times that you know what it looks like and you know how it fits, but it is this jumper. This is a men's ASOS fleece. So I think this has been drastically reduced again now. I did not pay full price for it. I got a size. Well, I got a men's large in this, so obviously it's really oversized. So this is from a company called Land's End. I don't really shop there, but this somehow appeared on a Google search once and roped me in. It's a couple of years old now. I don't think it's still available, but I did find this one. I actually prefer that one. So it's only £20 at the moment. If you like that, I suggest you head to Land's End. This is another fleece that you've probably seen me in a few times before, and I've never had so many questions about in my entire life. So I'm not gonna try it on because you will have seen it if you watch my videos, but it is this fleece. This is another ASOS men's fleece. I've noticed on the website that it is reduced still at the moment. It is a thick Borg style material. Everyone seems to like this one, so I think it's still available if you wanna go and get it. So you may have seen this fleece recently in the women's safety video that I did, but I have had this fleece for a year or two now, so I don't think it's available anymore. But there's very similar styles that Berghaus do have on ASOS right now. So this fleece is from a brand called New Girl Order, which is a fashion brand. It's absolutely not a hiking brand. The only thing I don't like about this fleece is that it doesn't do up with the zip to the top, which I personally like. like to be able to have that. I have it in an eight and I never usually buy clothes that small, but I knew it was oversized. This little fleece is my first ever patterned fleece that I found and I was so excited when I seen it because they just didn't really make like like funky hiking gear like this when I picked it up a couple of years ago. Now I got this in a sale at Winfield, so it's not gonna be available anywhere anymore. This fleece is when I feel like Berghaus really kicked their game up on what they were offering in their hiking gear. So I picked this up a year or two ago. They've pretty much consistently made really funky hiking gear since but I'm not sure this one's still available anymore. I've got this in a size medium and I think I actually got the men's version of this. It was the end of all my fleeces but I just wanted to quickly show you this jumper because this is actually from a hiking brand and it is a jumper that I wore a lot in my Scotland videos last year 
it is by through hike apparel and it's like a nice color block so i actually have another item from there to show you but this is not an asos brand this is um an independent irish hiking brand so they're definitely worth checking out to support small business because i don't wear hiking trousers i just want to quickly do a little section on the leggings that i wear because typically a lot of them are the same style now i only buy very cheap leggings because the likelihood of them getting ruined in the outdoors is high so most of these i picked up for under 15 or under 10 pounds this is the style i'm talking about these are asos 4505 I have quite a few pairs of these in different colours. Some of them have these pockets on the sides. We also have them in blue and in orange. I'm sure if you watch me on my channel, you'll get the vibe that I am quite a colourful person. There's no black leggings that you're going to be seeing here. I wear black leggings for work every day, so I like to keep it colourful on the weekends. And I really like all of these, but I'm not going to be too bothered if I snag them while I'm out or if they rip or anything because they are cheap, but they are very good quality, which is why I always get these ones. I do have a few other pairs. I've obviously got these like brown ribbed ones that I've got on now. Then I've got some other ones that again, I've just picked up for cheap and I just like them because they're bright colors. I've got these bright blue ones, like a stretchy fabric. I've got these purple ones. Again, they're in that stretchy style fabric. I've got these like leopard style ones stretchy walking trousers just are not my vibe so i don't wear them if i had to if i was going mountaineering or really like deep into winter hiking then maybe but that's not what i'm doing in snowdonia so i just stick with leggings so i'm going to move on to jackets now and i'll start with the one that i live in that you've probably seen me in quite a few times before especially over this winter it is this napa Rigi. i don't know if that's how you say it but we're going to go with it um, it's called a skidoo coat, so it is waterproof. This is fully like fleece lined the whole way through. It is the warmest, most snuggly coat that I feel like exists on the planet. I had my eye on this coat for ages and I just waited and waited. I think I maybe waited over a year for it to go two years ago, I think, into the Black Friday sale. And I think I picked it up for something like 70 quid from 180 originally. And that is so good for a high quality coat like this. I think I got this coat either last year or the year before. It's just a pullover windbreaker. It is pretty waterproof, but I don't think it would hold up all day long if you're being battered by the rain. As per usual, a men's house coat. They did it in a men's and a women's. The women's didn't go down in price, the men's did. And I got this for about 40 pound. This style of jacket is definitely still on ASOS. I'm not sure the colorway is. This is a good example of, and I can show you now, what I did this morning with another Berghaus coat that I bought. So as you can see, um, the women's is at 80, reduced from 180, and the men's was at around 50 pound reduced from 180 exactly the same coat i am happy with men's fit so i've been waiting for the men's one to come back in stock via a notification which i got this morning i put it in my basket they also had an extra 15 percent off for students which knocked it down to about 43 pound and that is me with a 180 pound berghaus puffer jacket for about 43 quid. I got this a few years ago from Go Outdoors, but I do think they still have this Freedom Trail like brand and these style puffers in there. But I picked this up for about 12 pounds and I, I didn't have this amount of gear at the time. So it was just a great little layer. Probably have never really seen me in these or at least not as much these days anyway, but I would always just throw these little O'Neill windbreakers I picked up for 17 pounds each from the O'Neill store on Cheshire Oaks, which doesn't exist anymore and I really like that shop. Um, again, men's larges and I just used to throw these over the top and I'd be pretty warm to be fair. They're not really that waterproof, but again, at the time they did the job for what I could afford. They've now pretty much been donated to Kieran because they are men's larges and they're both in perfect condition so good for him that i buy all these men's clothes unfortunately i don't think this coat's available anymore but it is by a brand called dope who sell on a shop called ride store it's mainly a ski and snowboard brand but they do have some outdoor wear i think this style is called the hiker so this colorway i've had this again for about a year or so now it was very cheap at the time as well so this is again another pretty expensive high quality jacket that i got for about half the price 
in a summer sale, which is a tip from me. I buy my summer stuff in winter and my winter stuff in summer, because that tends to be the cheapest way to do it, is when everything goes down in price. Last but not least for this coat section is this through hike apparel, which is the same as the color block jumper I showed you before. Little, it's almost like a Packamac style thing, but it is much thicker. It says, adventure awaits here and it's got their little badge on i haven't worn this nearly enough yet because again this is more of like a spring summer jacket this is not just like flimsy material it's really thick this is the independent irish brand i told you about earlier you've probably seen me in this once before so i'll post the photo and i will also include a link to through hike apparel in the description so now i'm going to show you t-shirts this is one that I've got recently. It's just a little billabong t-shirt. This graphic is also on the back. Like I said earlier, I tend to just wear oversized t-shirts on the mountains in the gym. I just don't really wear like those tight gym tops. This is just a layer. I don't think it matters. I tend to like a bit of a mountain sort of theme, like a hikey style t-shirt or a hiking brand t-shirt. But that's all I really wear in summer, so I've actually got quite a few new bits here, which I'll show you. Last summer, I spent most of my time hiking in these three Kavu t-shirts that I picked up really cheap, and I just realized that I didn't have much like summer hiking gear last year, because I'm a layers girl, I'm a fleece girl, I have a lot of stuff like that. I wasn't very well equipped for summer hiking. This footage is actually from the first time I tried to record the video, where I just held up the clothes to the camera instead of trying them on. Unfortunately, the t-shirt try-on section corrupted whilst transferring to my laptop. So instead of recording this for a third time, I'm just gonna include the first attempt footage. These are all Kavu tops. I'm gonna show you three that you've probably seen me in before because I lived in these last summer. They are these ones all the same style they are thin material but that was what was great about them they were just really lightweight to wear when we were hiking and it was hot i picked up those t-shirts like dirt cheap at the time i think they were quite literally like seven pound fifty last year they're still on the website but they're a little bit more expensive now but they're still reduced so i would had my eye on this little tie-dye one for a while as well got the logo on the back picked that up recently for cheap again this is a thin really thin same style as those ones this one came on a couple of months ago and it's supposed to be 35 pounds so i've been praying that these would come down in price which they did at the same time as asos gave us a 25 percent discount for students kieran is still in uni so that is works very well for me so i got it in this green color Still got the tags on, I literally got it last week. It again is a men's, all of these tops I've shown you, they do in men's and women's. So again, save both, see what comes down first. They are just Naparigi, oh God, I hope I'm saying that right. T-shirts, I've got it in black, gray, and then a, oh, hello, we've bonded. I'm white in short sleeve. Bought all of them reduced because the prices of this brand are a lot. I picked up this recently, which is why it's still got the tags on. It is an Adidas Terex t-shirt. I just liked that little badge. <laughs> I treated myself while they were all really cheap and there was a discount code on top of sale already on ASOS last week. A load of lightweight, really thin. Most of them are like crop tops. Some of them are a bit longer that can be tucked into short. Bunch of little t-shirts for the summer. So they are all from Quicksilver. And it's got the print on the back and it's the same in black with the print on the back or quicksilver print on the pocket this is very very light and i could just wear this with like some jeans here which are um quicksilver again little crop top this is so thin and lightweight so it's another crop top long sleeve and that brings me to the end of the clothing. I have two things to show you, which is my backpack and my bag. And then thank you for hanging in there if you're still watching. This backpack is my child. It is different color blocks Woo! <laughs> all around. So no two panels or um, even the straps. They are all different. I can't keep hold of this. It's got my drone in it because I'm going out soon. But even, let me show you inside. Even inside, like it is 
different colors everywhere. That's kind of like a little hidden compartment at the back. Everything tends to go in this like duffel style at the top here. Again, colorful even inside. It is not waterproof, so if it's raining, I put all my stuff in a dry bag inside of this. This was more of a splurgy purchase for me, but I only have one bag and it was worth it because this is the most colorful bag I could find. I can't actually remember where I bought it from, so I'll link it below if you're interested. Lastly, let's talk about my biggest purchase ever when it comes to hiking, which is these hocker boots. Now, if you can see here, it says Hocker 1-1, but they are a New Zealand-based brand. And I think, oh God, this could be wrong, but I think it's Hoka One One that it's actually pronounced like. I just call them Hockers. So they're quite funky looking, these things, but they are super comfortable, super lightweight, and they're also Gore-Tex. Obviously, they're looking a bit dirty from last weekend's very boggy walk. I did not pay full price for them, of course. I don't know if I said earlier, but I am a dog walker, so I live in outdoors wear and hiking boots or welly. This is where I have to spend my money because I do get really sore feet when I've been walking for too long, so I wanted something really lightweight. They were supposed to be, I think, about two, three, five, and I found them in like a little flash sale on Alpine Trek and I got them for about 160. So guys, if you made it through all of this video, thank you so much. I hope that you've liked seeing all the things that I've got and understanding how I have come to have these things. It's been years and years worth of collecting, like things that I like, waiting for them to come down in price. I like study these things. I monitor to get price reductions and use discount codes wherever I can. And if you do need stuff now to get out, just head to Regatta, places like that do good quality things for a reasonable price and build it up over time. One thing I do want to say before I go is the advantage to dressing like a rainbow on the mountains or in the outdoors is yes, people will look at you like a weirdo. I feel that people probably don't take me seriously Seriously, sometimes I am the hike planner I am the route planner I download the maps but every single time people will go up to Kieran they'll walk past me and I'll ask him for directions and if he knows the route that's fine I'm getting saved first if I fall down the helicopter's spotting and my colorful ass before it's spotting the people that don't wear the bright colors uh, nothing against you guys but I'm getting saved first never said this on my channel before because that's I just feel weird about saying it but I'm going to if you do watch my videos please hit subscribe or please like them it would make me feel good basically it boost my ego so if you could do that for me that'd be great see you next time